Welcome to HVAC exam practice test. Our topic today is practice test number 2. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. A transformer has 1200 turns of wire in the primary coil and 120 turns in the secondary coil. What will the output voltage be if 240 volts are applied? A 120 kilovolts. B 240 volts. C 480 volts. D 24 volts. The correct answer is D 24 volts. Explanation. The ratio of turns is 10 to 1, therefore 240 divided by 10 equals 24 volts secondary. Number 2. A heat pump outdoor system is being installed in a location that experiences large amounts of rainfall with possible flooding. Which of the following would be the best choice for mounting the outdoor unit? A. On a bed of gravel extending one foot from the unit. B. On a prefabricated plastic pad just below flood stage. C. Directly on the concrete pad just below the flood stage. D. On a construction framework above the flood stage. The correct answer is D. On a construction framework above the flood stage. Explanation. In many low-lying areas it is recommended that the unit be mounted on a framework above the flood stage such as wooden platform, metal cradle, cinder blocks and pad. Number 3. What is the main function of an air condition condenser? A. To store liquid refrigerant. B. To remove heat from the refrigerant. C. To remove moisture from the refrigerant. D. To add heat to the refrigerant. The correct answer is B. To remove heat from the refrigerant. Explanation. The main function of any air condition condenser is to remove both sensible and latent heat from the refrigerant by causing the gas from the compressor to go through three stages, desaperiate, change of state and sub-cool. Number 4. When should a thermostatic expansion valve with an external equalization line be used? A. When the evaporator has a pressure drop that causes more than 2 degree Fahrenheit saturation temperature change. B. When the evaporator has a pressure drop that causes less than 2 degree Fahrenheit saturation temperature change. C. When the system is charged with HFC refrigerant. D. When the condenser has a high pressure drop. The correct answer is A. When the evaporator has a pressure drop that causes more than 2 degree Fahrenheit saturation temperature change. Explanation. Due to pressure temperature relationship, thermostatic expansion valves must sense the correct pressure at the location of the thermal bulb to maintain the correct superheat. Pressure drop is usually caused by size or capacity of the evaporator taking into account the number of ubens. Number 5. What is one of the main reasons that reciprocating compressors are not 100% efficient? A. CFC refrigerants. B. Condenser design. C. Evaporator design. D. Clearance volume. The correct answer is D. Clearance volume. Explanation. The efficiency of reciprocating compressors is reduced due to the re-expanding gas that is in the cylinder clearance space. The greater the clearance between the top of the piston and bottom of the valve plate, the more the gas will re-expand on the downstroke of the piston reducing the pumping efficiency. Number 6. To what temperature would a technician normally set an outdoor ambient thermostat? A. Just below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. B. Just above the initial balance point. C. The same as the indoor thermostat. D. 10 to 15 degrees above the initial balance point. The correct answer is B, just above the initial balance point. Explanation. The technician must know the heat load of the structure and initial balance point before attempting to set an outdoor thermostat. Once the balance point is known the set point is 1 to 2 degrees above the balance point. Number 7. The parallel circuit consists of three resistors. R1 equals 24 ohms, R2 is 60 ohms, and R3 is at 40 ohms. What is the total resistance of the circuit? 
A 12 ohms. B 24 ohms. C 124 ohms. D 220 ohms. The correct answer is B 24 ohms. Explanation. The smallest resistor is 24 ohms, therefore the total must be less than 24. One of the parallel circuit laws states that the total resistance is always less than the smallest resistor in a parallel circuit. Number 8. What is the first step in the heating sequence of operation? A. Main burner ignition. B. Pilot flame ignition. C. Pressure switch closes. D. Thermostat calls for heat. The correct answer is D. Thermostat calls for heat. Explanation. The first step in the heating sequence of operation is the thermostat calls for heat. Nothing else happens until the thermostat calls for heat. Number 9. Which of the following is an example of a resistive load? A. By metal switch. B. Crankcase heater. C. Transformer. D. Motor. The correct answer is B. Crankcase heater. Explanation. A resistive load is an electrical load in which voltage and current are in phase and are converted to energy in the form of heat. Other examples of a resistive load are electrical heaters and incandescent bulbs. Number 10. What are three basic types of insulation? A. Fiber, reflective and foam. B. Bats, fiber and reflective. C. Gypsum, boards and bats. D. Aluminum bats, fiber and wool. The correct answer is A. Fiber, reflective and foam. Explanation. There are various types of insulation commonly found in residential buildings. Different types of insulation also have different R values, which measure the effectiveness of the insulation. This is based on the thickness of the insulation. There are various types of insulation on the market, but the three most commonly used types are loose fill insulation or blanket insulation, reflective and spray foam insulation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.